Here's a couple of things. Hopefully make uh, running your drive in pipe a little easier. Um, you start with a pilot hole here in the basement through the rim joist uh, where I want my pipe to be. Once you get through the wood, you'll feel a void behind there between the wood and the brick. And then I'll switch over to uh, a masonry bit and a hammer drill, a long bit. You might not need the hammer drill, but you'll probably need a, a long bit to get all the way through there. So once you get the pilot hole extended to the outside, I switch to a shorter bit that's about the brick depth and uh, made a mark here, a hole about a half inch bigger than what I actually need. Uh, it's better to have a little bit more room uh, around there. So I'll drill a series of holes around this one. Uh, more the better probably and then take a cold chisel connect the dots uh, and work from the inside uh, out to the outside will minimize your chipping uh, you'll, you'll still get some chips probably but uh, it covers pretty big so it, it should cover that and then if you have a hole saw that's big enough you could use a wood hole saw but I don't so um, just drilled a series of holes kind of the same um, you know method here I'm going to take a sawzall with a long blade and cut the wood out. And it's best if you can try to angle the blade to make the hole a little bit bigger rather than smaller. If you angle your blade a little bit, if you can, uh, there's nothing worse than doing this once and then having to go back and chip chop around there because the hole's not big enough. Uh, you don't want to, and then you're fighting your pipe. So it's not a big deal if it's not super, super tight. So, because uh, we're going to seal all that up. <clears throat> the vent cover, you could probably uh, silicone to the wall with the pipe hook to it. It won't go anywhere, but this one has mounting holes. I'm going to go ahead and use them uh, since I got my drill out and everything. I'm going to use some of these tap cons <clears throat> and uh, mount it to the wall. And on the inside, I got some spray foam around the hole, keep the draft out, and then I'll put the fiberglass back in uh on the rim there try to use metal pipe smooth metal pipe uh, plastic pipe you can get a static charge build up in there and it could cause a fire probably not but it might uh, so smooth metal pipe with some pipe brackets uh, periodically to hold it up you don't want it sagging and possibly coming apart and get all your joints screwed together and that kind of stuff and where this one pokes through the floor i got about a 14 foot run here uh, goes up through the floor into the laundry room. I, I had to put strapping there. I didn't have room for a bracket. So uh, just make sure it's supported everywhere so it doesn't come apart. This is up in a drop ceiling. So if it comes apart, you're not probably not going to know it. Uh, so just make sure it's all supported good. And then I got some good uh, quad caulk uh, around the outside. That brick's got a pretty heavy texture on it. Um, and uh, you covered the ends of the screws and whatnot. So... Yeah, good luck. Hope that helps.